Hey guys, welcome to part 4. If you've not seen the other parts, please do watch them. And this is my continuing collection of zombie films. So the next one I've got is Flight of the Living Dead. Now, although some of the effects are quite good, it just seemed quite silly. Um, I don't know. I kind of enjoyed it. I kind of didn't. I wasn't. I wasn't that into this film, and I don't think I ever will be. But as I said, there's some quite cool little bits in it. But yeah. Okay, graveyard disturbance, which is basically Demons Four, but is is an alright film. It's kind of. Demons 1 and 2 were really good, 3 was okay, and this one's man. It's alright. I've got a couple of trailers up somewhere if you want to check them out, as well as I've got them in multiple languages. Just have a look and see. Okay, the next one I've got is Ghoul School. Can't remember much about this one, so I'll just hold it up and show you. But, uh, from memory wasn't very good. Okay, the next one we've got is Hell of the Living Dead. Now this is an absolute fucking must-see film. Absolutely love this one. Really, really, really do. Um, in the UK this one is known as Zombie Creeping Flesh. Um, which I do have on preserts, so I'll, I'll be showing that in the VHS and Betamax part of this collection video. But yeah, fucking mint film. Really, really good. Here's one that I've got, but I've actually not watched. I've only got this one a few days ago, so I can't as yet tell you anything about this one. I think it's a Pakistan film and it was the first um, film of its type over in that part of the world because the sort of stuff's kind of frowned on there to do with the religion and things like that but uh, I've, I've heard really good things about this one the next one is just pants in all honesty and it is Hood of the Living Dead um, yeah, die hard zombie fans only, I'm afraid, this one. But uh, check it out if you must. Okay, the next one I've got is Hellgate. Um, I'm just trying to remember this one. I'm sure this is the one where um, they've got this like big glowing rock that turns people into zombies. Um, I'm almost certain it is. Yes, it is. It's the the, the finest big glowing rock in this mine. It's an old mining town, and this girl, who was actually a zombie, lures people into the town to, I suppose, kill them off and, and things like that. Come on, same again. Not watched that one a hell of a long time, so sorry if my memory's a little bit fusty on a few of these. There's another one that I've not got round to watching yet, but um, I've heard okay things about it. It's the incredibly strange creatures who stopped living and became mixed up zombies. One of the longest titles for a zombie film, but it's... It is what it is. Check it out if you've seen it. Let me know what you think. The next one I've got is I Am Omega or Omega, however you want to pronounce it. This one, although being low budget, is kind of like well, I'll I'll bring it in and show you. It's kind of like I Am Legend. It's the same story but told in a different way. Um, yeah, really quite a good film worth worth checking out. This guy's like a Van Damme type kick ass badass type guy. He's, he's quite good. And obviously I've just shown you I am legend. I'm sure most of you guys will have seen this one. 
Not sure if you'd class it as a zombie film, but I do because the guys in it are dead. Um, well, kinda. But yeah, check it out and see. Like more, the more mutants, I suppose, than dead. But I, I thought I'd chuck that in there to reference I Am Omega. But I Am Omega is zombies. They are like zombies in I Am Omega. The next one, same again, it's not quite a zombie film, but I'm sure by halfway through the film he is dead and just a walking corpse because not nothing of his sort of humanity seems to have been left in there and it is the incredible melting man. Now this one's getting stupidly hard to get now, but I've also got this one on through VHS as well. But well, this is actually a bloody good film. It's about an asteroid, eh, an asteroid, an astronaut who goes up into space and ends up coming back contaminated, and he's just melting away to nothingness, and he just looks like a really snarled up corpse. And is 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 a really good film. The next one I've got is Junk. Now I get Junk and Wild Zero mixed up. So I'm not going to embarrass myself by telling you about the story of these, but um, yeah, both this and Wild Zero are really good films. I just can't remember which one's which, the Japanese ones. The next one I've got is Let Sleeping Corpses Lie. Now this is a fucking absolute brilliant film. This one's also known as The Living Dead at the Manchester Morgue or don't open the window but under any title it is uh, a must see um, also featured in my top 10 community zombie films brilliant 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 film okay the next one i've got is last of the living basically a group of lads not including the last is basically just Hold it up inside um, a really nice big house, just listen to music, watching TV and films and things. And outside, the whole world's gone to shit, there's zombies everywhere. And they go out after a few days shopping. And by that, that's what they call it, but it's actually uh, breaking stores and robbing food and things. And uh, they decide to go and get a new house, sort of every so often and they end up bumping up into this girl and it's, it's, a, it's a bloody good film I really 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 like this one it's uh, an interesting story time now we got time for another couple the next one is a French one and is The Living Dead Girl subtitled film no English language <coughs> um, let me just check that on yeah, it's, it's French to English subtitles, but it's, it's quite a good film, and the girl, living dead girl, if you can see her, she's, she's very pretty, and walks around naked, so, bonus! So yeah, check Skiowski. Okay, the next one I've got is one of the more modern Romero ones, and that is Land of the Dead. Another quite a good film actually, like this one. Um, yeah, not going to talk about it. I'm sure most of you've seen Romero stuff. So yeah, that's part four finished, with guys, because we're only up to ten minutes. So I'm going to move this on to part five now. So I'll see you in a moment, guys, and bye.